human health, animal health, and more broadly, ecosystems or even planetary health are inexorably linked. This phenomenon is not new, and yet our world is changing at an unprecedented pace, and so are the ways we live, the way we interact with each other, with other species, and our environment. And yes, this brings a huge range of new and old challenges, but also opportunities for global health. Ebola, MERS, Zika. Are we ready for the next emerging virus? Antimicrobial resistance. What is it? Should we be worried? How is the world going to tackle it? Rabies. We're getting closer, but what are the challenges for its elimination? Biodiversity conservation. Why is this so important for global health? These are just some of the many questions that we would like to discuss with you during this MOOC on Global Health at the Human-Animal Ecosystem Interface, an interdisciplinary overview. So there is a strong uh, link between urbanization and these outbreaks of dengue, of Zika, of of chikungunya. We can make a difference in controlling neglected zoonotic diseases with the tools we currently have and with the improved coordination among the sectors. Snakes are responsible for 5 million bites yearly. There is no health without a healthy planet. Antimicrobial resistance is a threat to global health. About 120,000 cases of zoonotic tuberculosis occur every year. So that interdisciplinary collaboration is a key element of the One Health concept. Now, of course, there are so many benefits of companion animals to our health. We're really in the middle of a uh, village and we have uh, 6,000 uh, bats here. Together, along with more than 30 experts and 20 institutions based in Geneva, Paris and beyond, we invite you to join this highly interdisciplinary and international learning experience in global health. This MOOC is open to everyone, free of cost and available in several languages.